y'all. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a freshman and you're watching this, comment down on what school you're going to. It'll be like this HBCU PWR Community College. Comment your school. First, before I start, my name is Winters Freeman. I'm 21 years old. Legal to drink, like I say in every video. I attend John C. Smith University. It's an HBCU in Charlotte. So if anybody's watching this and they go to John C. Smith or they're coming to John C. Smith, comment down below your Instagram so I can follow y'all. So can hang out. Okay, so today, this video is a college unpopular opinion slash college freshman advice. So I have like a notebook here with like some bullet points on there, you know, about stuff I want to talk about. Okay, so freshmen, I know y'all are going to college and y'all are probably anticipating it and y'all are probably scared, nervous. Some of y'all are probably there for right now because I know a lot of schools do like summer programs and like y'all stay on campus until the uh, school year actually starts. So some of y'all probably already on campus, moved in, whatever. So you got that part of it. But for the people who haven't moved in yet, I know y'all are anxious, like, oh my gosh, I'm going away from home. I'm going to be there a whole three, four months by myself, no family, da, 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 da. I'm here to ease that stress. And I might add to it <laughs> because college is not what it seems. I'll be honest, I'm going to keep it in. College is not what it seems. But you just have to really make the most of it, honestly. I feel like you really have to make the most of your college experience. Freshmen, freshman dorms are not the cleanest. They're not always going to be top notch, you know, own shower, own bedroom, da 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 Nah, none of that. You're going to share a room with somebody. You're going to share a space. Then you got to deal with the public showers. Them is nasty. Get you some shower shoes, baby. And a caddy. Keep yourself on you and lock yourself up when you're at your room because people do steal. I, I feel like if you're going to a school with your best friend or someone that you're friends with in high school, get a dorm room by yourself or get a dorm room with somebody you don't know. Do not share a dorm room with somebody that you know. Like, because that's not going to turn out too good. Because if you're not used to that person's like daily habits and their cleanliness, then that's going to probably tarnish the friendship. Um, But yeah. But my freshmen, them dorms gonna be hell. Keep you some, um, get you some snacks on deck, microwavable food. I don't know if kitchen available. Kitchen might not be effect available. Get that meal plan. Do not skip out on that meal plan, freshmen, because if you don't have a kitchen, get that meal plan so you can save money. It's all about saving money. Let's bring me to my second point. Freshmen, do not stay in that room. Do not stay in your room. It's okay to be by yourself, but you go straight back to your room every day, all day. You know, on the weekends, you're in your room all day. Or you go home for the weekend, every weekend. You're going to have the worst college experience of your life. I'm telling you from experience. My freshman year, I didn't really have that many friends. I mean, I knew people, but I was in the room. I was put up. No fun, no nothing. Missing out on everything, all the little events. Laundry. Time the laundry on your phone. And if you're in some in like an institution where they have like timers and like an app where you put your laundry in or whatever, download the app, do whatever, because people do see your clothes. People do put your wet clothes on top of the dryer. If they close it to go somewhere, like if they're not finished drying, they're gonna take them out, throw them somewhere. It ain't never happened to me. Personally, I wouldn't take it. So don't let that happen, y'all. Personally, I smack a hoe. Bye bye. All right, what's up? And then, for my girls and my boys, don't go to college seeking a relationship. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Let it ride. Really, if y'all live in the same state, everybody free game. If you're not tied down, you about to marry me, or we made a step to that you're my man, I'm your girl, everybody's literally free game. Me, personally, I'm not gonna be talking to 10 people. I'm not. And the last time I say for freshmen, like, specifically aimed at freshmen. Everybody not your friend. Like a person like me, I take everybody in, I give them the same love, you know? But I've learned not to say that, oh, that's my friend, that's my friend. I'm a person who loves to talk to people, who love to interact with everyone. Like, I just give everyone genuine love and caring kindness, like no matter if I know you or not. So, if you're like me, listen to your friends. <laughs> listen to your homegirl and homeboys when they tell you that's not your fucking friend. Cause none of my team, they right. If you're a freshman, you're already in college and you have like gifts or talents that you know that can bring you streams, a source of income, tap into that. Like no for real, tap into that. I be doing locks. 
I'll be charging hundred dollars a head, do sales like that. Um, normally it'd be like one fifty, two hundred. Like that's quick. That's quick money. If you think people won't book with you, people be ready to spend that money in college. Like y'all, y'all be thinking, oh, we broke college students. We be broke, but girls gonna spend a bag on getting their hair done, getting their nails, especially if it's available. They're going to spend that money. They're going to book with you, especially if it's good quality and it looks good and it lasts long. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Me, I cook. But I don't sell plates, but I know people who do. They gonna buy food. They gonna buy food. It don't matter if it's good or nasty. Like, they gonna buy food. They gonna eat it. Not me, but them. <laughs> Tap into, like, all your um, gifts and times that can bring you source, like, a source of income. You can have multiple source, uh, streams of income. You know, if you do multiple things, like me, hair, selling plates. Um, I really like doing flyers and stuff. I'm getting real good at that. Uh, making thumbnails for people who else got a YouTube channel on campus. They don't know how to make thumbnails charge like $15 for, th for each thumbnail or like make 10 thumbnails for um, $40, $50, you know, something like that. I don't know. Always something, writing papers, helping tutor. Um, it's it's so many ways you can make money on campus if you like run alone funds and you know your parents can't give you money like every month type shit. So yeah. And I want to say for a lot of people, when they go into college, they try to create this version of themselves that no one knows because a lot of people go to college far away and so they can be these people or this person they've always wanted to be but they could never be because that's not them. Watch out for those people and don't become that person. Like if I'm talking to you, don't become that person. If you know you already got in mind, oh, I'm finna be a whole different person. Like, ain't, don't nobody know me, so I'm finna just act like I got this, this. No, go into college, go into any situation being 100% yourself, you're gonna attract, you're gonna attract like what you are, honestly. I'm a real genuine person, down to earth, like love talking, love people, love making people laugh. And that's like people that I attracted to my life. And you don't wanna be a person who like, you created this narrative of yourself. I'm like, you're this asshole, this loud. You always on 10 for something. It don't even matter what it is, you just always on 10. People don't like that. They might be laughing, but they're not laughing with you, they're laughing at you. This brings my next topic, trying to fit in. We're 20, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. What are we trying to fit in for? If them motherfuckers don't wanna fuck with you, baby, get these stepping, like what? There's so many people on campus. If nobody wanna be a fucking friend, buy all by yourself. Like it's not that hard. Like I've seen so many people that's tried to fit in or trying to fit in still. And it's literally embarrassing. It's so embarrassing and it's so sad to watch because when you try to bring it to their attention, it's like, oh no, they're really my friends. They really, they really fool me. No, they don't because when you walk away, they talking about, now like I said on all my 10 toes and hold your name down. And then when I try to tell you, you get all defensive. So do not try to fit in with a crowd. If they just don't, if they reject you or they just don't want you kicking it with them or they being funny, don't stress it. Go into every situation being genuine and 100% you. People gonna always spend friends, past relationships, money. It's always gonna spend when you're being genuine and 100% you. Like, don't ever stop being you to please or to get to a level of someone else you think is like popular or cool. Niggas really lame in real life. <laughs> Niggas is lame in real life, so don't even trip. And send all negativity to God. <laughs> because we're grown. Why are we sitting here arguing? Why are you coming to me with he said, she said? Why are you coming to me with drama every other day? Why are you calling my phone and sending me screenshots of people's business? I don't care. But we're at school for a reason. We're at school to get our education, to learn. We're not here to um, be with the negative vibe. Now, when you gotta get down and you gotta show a bitch, stop playing with me, then you gotta show a bitch, stop playing with me. Don't let nobody play in your face because I've been the victim of being nice to give people benefit of the doubt people that played in my face. Now I gotta show you who, who really barked around this bitch. Me, yeah, me, a big win, yeah, stop playing. That brings me to another thing, freshman, when you're coming in and you're changing your major, you know, you're going there with a specific major in mind and it just ain't working out for you, just like, I just, this is too hard, I don't think so, me, or your, your interest shifts somewhere else. Change it. College is not a race. I be telling myself people all the time. The four year college graduation rate or college graduation you know, time, people frame people give you, it's really not realistic, but it is, especially with COVID and this recession that we're going through. It's not realistic at fucking all. Take however much time you need. Now I'm not saying be there for six, seven years, baby. Four to five and a half years. Okay, that's cool. But that graduation time frame, baby, no, goodbye, sir. We're kicking those narratives down. 
Like, take as much time as you need to pace yourself. It is not a race. Everyone is there for the same reason to get an education and hire the education. Um, or to learn that college isn't for them. That's what college is for too. I feel like everybody should try to see, like, is this for me or is this not for me? That's why I took a semester off. When I got to the high school, I took a semester off. When I was at home working, so I was like, no, I need to be in a setting, in an environment with people my age, learning from people my age. I love being in an environment just with people. Like, I said, no, it's not it. That's not it, Mom. I'm finna enroll back into school and I'm going next semester because I cannot do this. Like, this is not me. But last but not least, have fun while you're in school. I know you're going into school, especially going to like an Ivy League school. You know, you gotta stay on top of your grades. Stay on top of your grades. Get your work done, but do not miss out on fun. Do not miss out on fun. Please do not miss out on fun. Cause when I finally went to school in the spring semester of 2020, but you know, I was in my room, I was going to the little parties or whatever, but I really wasn't, you know, having fun. Like I should have, you know, my first semester on the college campus. And so when we got something for college, I was like, damn, I ain't even had no fun yet. We was just, me and my best friend just met and we was planning out all these things to do, planning out all these events to go to when we came back from spring break. Kobe, I was like, damn. Couldn't even have fun. So when we came back to campus, you know I turned it off. <gasps> Y'all know I hit the ground running. So I just feel like have fun. Do not do not regret anything. Anything you do, do it with no regrets. Because if you're going to think you're going to regret it, don't do it. Just don't do it. But have fun. Go out. If you're 21, get drunk on a Saturday night. Go to the club with your friends. Ride a trolley, walk uptown, laugh, make memories. Like, it doesn't matter. Have fun while you're in school. Learn from whoever you can learn from. Everything is a lesson. Everything is a blessing. Don't be sad. Don't fret if, like, no one's pursuing you romantically or no one's pursuing you to, you know, for an opportunity. Keep going. Keep pushing. People are going to see you. They're going to see you striving. Especially if you you in your own lane and you being your own person. People gravitate towards that. So, just be you. Keep pushing in your lane. Know where you're supposed to be at. Everything that's for you gonna come to you. So don't even don't don't trip for real. I had to learn that myself. I was starting to be somebody that I wasn't. I was like, this ain't even me. Now that I'm authentically me and I'm really learning myself every day, and I'm putting out the version that I really am to like the world and my peers, and they get to see me like you know interacting and doing different things. Like especially like YouTube, they finally get to see like a different side of me. People always see messages like, oh my gosh, like you really like, you really be doing this. Like you really inspirational. You really this, you really that. I love your vibe. I love your style. Like make sure everything is you. Back to me saying like, make sure everything is 100% you. Like what your mom and daddy tell you, don't change. They really mean that. Don't change it because they have this saying it. It's a topic outside of their neck. They saying it because they went, they, they live the life that you living right now. So they tell you, don't change. And you got somebody your age. I'm only 21. If you're 19, baby, it's literally the same thing. I'm just 21. I can show y'all my ID and get a drink. That's the only thing that's different. And if you're a religious person, I always gotta talk about God in my videos cause that's my dog. That's my dog. Having a relationship with God, especially in college, is gonna take you so far. Like I just learned that last semester because I was struggling and stressing. Like I've talked about in recent videos, I was so stressed. But then when I finally put all my focus back into God, I was just like, hold on, this is too easy. Why ain't Ben do this? Why ain't Ben trust you, God? You don't love God? What's wrong with you? Building or having a relationship with God is like top tier, especially in school. When you're by yourself, you spend most time by yourself with peers, top five. Top two, and it ain't number two. Uno, top ten. For all my college freshmen or just college people watching in general, your journey is your journey. Your journey is beautiful. No matter what you encounter, obstacles you may face, it's all gonna be a, a way for you to make a comeback and to excel um, at a higher rate. So don't trip, don't stress it. Everything is gonna be fun. Everything is gonna be beautiful. You're gonna have an amazing year. This is the first video part of my like college freshman series. The next video, I'm gonna be talking to you college freshmen about what you should and shouldn't bring to school. So I hope the video was helpful. I hope you got some good tips from this. Just my advice, a little piece of my advice, you know. If you would like me to do this video again with some of my friends when we get back on campus, I will. Just put it in the comment section down below. Turn on that bell. Do what you gotta do. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Tell the story she was different from me. God's plan. God's plan. I hope that sometimes I won't. I feel good sometimes I don't. I finesse down West Terrible. I go down to DOG. I go hard on South.